Today's song is What a Beautiful Name by Hillsong Worship. Clocking in at 5 minutes and 43 seconds, this is the most popular Christian song on YouTube with over 426 million views. The songwriters have said that this song was inspired by Colossians 1 as well as Hebrews 1, which talks about the mysteries of God and how the words of the prophets are revealed and fulfilled in Jesus Christ. This song focuses on just that name, although ironically, while the name itself, Jesus, is repeated 10 times throughout the song, the actual word name is repeated 25 times. Let's ignore the fact that they broke the cardinal sin of lyricism and rhymed you with you and talk about the content. Much of the song is spent describing Jesus, who he is, and what he did to save us, with nearly every line making reference to a different Bible verse. But primarily, the lyrics are about his beautiful, wonderful, and powerful name. These lyrics are biblical as scripture does talk about the power of Jesus' name and that there's no other name under heaven that can save. They also make mention of the gospel, which is Christ coming to earth to die for sinners, which many supposedly Christian songs tend to skim over. However, there are some questionable areas. For example, there's confusion in parts as to whom is being spoken. Is it Jesus or is it God the Father? But they're both God, yes, but they are two different persons with two different roles. Jesus even prayed to God the Father with those very lyrics. So the song blurs the line between Jesus and God the Father. The most questionable area might be this lyric. You didn't want heaven without us, so Jesus, you brought heaven down. Is this truly biblical? God was and is completely sufficient in himself, and any love shown to us is an outpouring and overflow on his part. Yes, it pleases God to save mankind, but that doesn't mean he would be any less satisfied without us. Now, to be fair, the lyrics are just being poetic with the word heaven, so maybe I'm being too harsh. John Piper actually wrote an article about just this point, which I'll link in the description below. Now, while there is nothing clearly unbiblical present, the song's repetition is what brings down its uniqueness score. Given the number of times specific words are repeated, coupled with the number of times full choruses and the bridge are repeated, the uniqueness score comes out to 42%, making this song average in terms of unique lyrics. So, Hillsong worships what a beautiful name, a lot of good biblical concepts with some iffy spots and repetition. Are they just lyrics? Decide for yourself. And let me know in the comments.